Yes, welcome back. This is the touchline on to our first segment of the interviews. Nairobi International Cup is happening in Nairobi, and I have guests who will be talking about the same Kevin Akumu, who is the coach for Faces Academy, believe one of the organizers of this particular championship, but also the target group. That's the players, the developmental sides. So that's Ryan Keegan, a player also from Faces Academy, Karibuni Sana, on the touchline. Mr. Good. Akumu na Keegan. See you. Now, uh, Kevin, let's talk about this particular championship, Nairobi International Cup, and why it's so important. Um, I've been seeing these championships that target the young ones majorly happening outside Nairobi or outside Kenya. You know, maybe the East Africa Cup that happens in Arusha every year. This could be the most famous uh, cup that we know that targets the age group, and maybe also Ligindogo that has been happening in the past years. But now, why Nairobi International Cup, and what does it promise to uh, all those who will be participating? There was a time I had a, a dream mm -hmm. of owning a, a soccer academy. Mm -hmm. Right now, I have it. Mm -hmm. But one, one thing that uh, challenge I went through the most mm -hmm. was to get equipment, cones, footballs, mm -hmm. to start even the team. Mm -hmm. So we struggled. We, there was a time we even had like 60 kids mm -hmm. in training. Mm -hmm and corner ball mbili. So that was a very, very big challenge. Mm -hmm. And now I want to relate back. Mm -hmm. Right now I'm at a place where I can afford my training staffs and everything. Mm -hmm. I can even get coaches to come and train these kids. Mm -hmm. But there's still a coach, mm -hmm. maybe in Korogocho, maybe in Wajir, maybe uh, somewhere, mm -hmm. who's struggling to get even these basic uh, staffs, like mm -hmm. just the cones mm -hmm. and the balls to develop these kids. Mm -hmm. So this is a championship for them. Mm -hmm. we, are, we want to like, uh, use the process from this tournament mm -hmm. to uplift the football standards. Mm -hmm. We go all over Kenya. Mm -hmm semi arid areas, arid areas, mm -hmm. so that we reach out to these kids. We think of that coach who really, really works hard uh, to, to give these kids a foundation, mm -hmm. and we are coming to help you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so and that's so the motivation. Who will be participating in this particular championship? Right now, when I put out the information, mm -hmm. I was expecting maybe some two Nairobi teams, five and whatever. Right now we have over 380 teams. Mm -hmm. We have 20 teams coming from East Africa. Mm -hmm. uh, th those are not from Kenya. Mm -hmm. The face of Kenya itself, the county. We have teams coming from all the way from Siaya, mm -hmm. Wasingishu, Mombasa. Mm -hmm. People are coming to Nairobi now. Mm -hmm. So that shows us there's a very, very big uh, belief in mm -hmm. us, mm -hmm. ourselves, mm -hmm. and in Nairobi as a city mm -hmm. to deliver a very proper football festival over four days. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Keegan, Katika in this particular tournament, right? Mm -hmm. How ready are you as a player for Faces Academy? I have trained a lot, uh -huh. mostly physical training, which is very hard. Uh -huh. uh, <laughs> and the coach is laughing. What does <laughs> two tough drills? <laughs> yes, they are very tough drills, but I know they'll really help me in the future. Uh -huh. Yeah. And of course, your position. How 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 better do you want to become in your position? You are a winger, right? Yes. Uh -huh. Uh, I want to become very good. I know that position is hard because you have to have the stamina to go help in defense and attack. Mm -hmm. Yes. And of course, you 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 picked on football. How easy was it for you to pick on football? I believe Kulikona watu yanzizamage mingi sana, but you decided on football, yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, football was fun. The first time I saw it, kicking a ball was very energizing, mm -hmm. and I enjoyed mm -hmm. like. It gave me motivation to play it. Uh -huh. yes. And so far, you, you look at, you you're now you play for under 13, you know, you're now like prime age of any footballer. Yes. Right? And how does Faces Academy, well, being there and, and just playing and, and making sure that you develop your skill, how, where, where do you want, where do you see it going? It's really helping me. Mm -hmm. But the team has helped me very much. I have a lot of friends now. Mm -hmm. The first time I joined, I was very shy. Mm -hmm. But now I'm like one of them mm -hmm. and I'm really happy. Mm -hmm. And you know, like football gave him a voice. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Getting him out of the house was a problem. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so when, uh, eventually when we managed to get him out of the house, mm -hmm. the mom was like, thank you, coach. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and when he joined, as he has said, he was very, very shy. Because mm -hmm. I wasn't even thinking, like, Sasa, this is just a waste of time. You should just go back to the house. But I know he's one of the best, actually. Uh -huh. Yeah, he's one of the best in the academy. Uh -huh. Yeah, and a very big Christian Ronaldo fan. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, and, 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 and you, why, why, why was mom reluctant? Why, why were you reluctant to get out of the house? Uh, because I wanted to not be fat, I wanted <laughs> to be <laughs> and be in good shape. Uh -huh. Yeah, uh -huh. because there are a lot of diseases you get when you're overweight. Uh -huh. So I wanted to keep fit and at least have a good life. That sounds like you're scared. Yeah. Huh? 
That sounds like you're scared. Those are the things, are the things we made him believe that he needs yeah. to come out of the house. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and, okay, and, yeah. and in your case, I mean, you've handled so many of them. He's not the only one, right? Yeah, he's not the only one. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's a problem now with these video games and uh, the, the stuff like uh, junk food that this kid eats a lot. The mm -hmm. fridge is always full. They don't see anything mm -hmm. uh, that takes them out of the house. Mm -hmm. It's a big challenge. Mm -hmm. And we encourage parents to just take your kid out. Mm -hmm. it, he might not have the talent, mm -hmm. but you never know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so mm -hmm. just take him out. Yeah. That one hour, 30 minutes is very, very beneficial to the kid. Yeah, the practice is, it yeah, makes, yeah. makes them better anyway. Yes, yes, right? yes. And absolutely. also, uh, yeah, and your, 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 um, your academy being based in the larger Kibra, right? Yes. That's Langata. What, what would you say about the pool of talent that's there? And maybe some of the outstanding aspects that you've come it's across. It's amazing. Uh -huh. It's amazing. Myself, mm -hmm. I wanted to be a footballer. Mm -hmm. I didn't make it. Mm -hmm. I just played those Sunday league footballs and whatever. But first of all, it pains me when I think of uh, the amount of talent that's sleeping in Langata Cemetery mm -hmm. and all those we've buried mm -hmm. because uh, football back then, uh, it was a challenge for, the, mm -hmm. for these people to mm -hmm. get uh, something to go take back home, so they resolved to the street. Mm -hmm. it, it pains me mm -hmm. because we have players who are really, really good. I can mention a few. There's one called Opong. Mm -hmm. He's a very big legend. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the was like a be, good, yeah. No, yeah, the, we have a boy in Kibera. Yeah, yeah. yeah right now, Anna, Anna Namna, mm -hmm. but he was even better than most of these players we've seen in the national team, but he never got the chance. Yeah. And there's and a big pool of talent, and that's what I want to maximize on. Yeah, and, and that's, that's the same story, right? That's the same story. Uh, it's just a thin line between people picking up, having that mentality that at this young age, yeah. like Keegan's age, you yeah. have to be disciplined. You know, yes. how hard is it for what really should keep them going you know i always tell parents that once you've uh, given birth to a kid mm -hmm. the kid is not yours alone mm -hmm. it's now that it's the kid belongs to the community mm -hmm. it doesn't take you as a person to raise your child but mm -hmm. it takes a community to raise a child because mm -hmm. mm -hmm. i can coach i can you don't like those are the key uh, fundamental aspects of this life mm -hmm. that we should teach these kids mm -hmm. from a very, very tender mm -hmm. age. Yes. Kigan, after Faces Academy, what, what's in your mind? Uh, I want to play for a very big team, mm -hmm. uh, either Liverpool or Real Madrid. Uh -huh. But then I want to be in the most is Liverpool, uh -huh. because it's my favorite team. What, what, what do you think? Do they suit your style of play, according to what the coach tells yeah, you? Yeah, I love how they press. Uh -huh. Like if they lose the ball, uh -huh. the person who loses it goes for it the first one. Uh -huh. and, and Alexander Arnold, is he, is he a midfielder? Is he a defender? We've I prefer, seen him at the Euros. Uh -huh. I prefer him as a midfielder because how he passes is just wonderful. Uh -huh. Yes. I'm surprised he has chosen football, uh -huh. uh, like just the priority, because uh -huh. he's a very, very big sprinter, uh -huh. even with the name. He's uh -huh. super, super uh -huh. fast, yeah. Uh -huh. He's even, uh, I think he's won some medals as well with school and stuff. So uh, when you asked that question, I was scared, maybe he'd want to go the Omanian route <laughs> or whatever, yeah. Yeah, but he'll but fight. He's super, super fast. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, and, and so like looking at maybe locally, locally, you know, you have to begin here? Yes. Uh -huh. uh, a local team? Yes. Uh, one team I like is Gormaya because my mom also likes it. <laughs> yes. And and they keep on winning. Yeah, they keep on winning. Uh, like yesterday, they now they 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 defending champion. They they reigning Kenya Premier League yeah. champions. They win almost all the time, mm -hmm. but their rivals FC Leopards are kind of disturbing them a bit. Mm -hmm. Because they enjoy the same popularity, right? They yes. all they, yeah. they all have big 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 fans, big fan base in the country. Yes. But now winning and losing is part of the game. How do you take the two? Uh, if I lose, I've now understood when I was young, mm -hmm. I used to always You're get still angry. <laughs> yeah. When I was like in under nine, uh -huh. I used to get angry when I lose, uh -huh. but now I understand. Mm -hmm. Because it's a game of winning and losing, mm -hmm. and when I lose, it will motivate me to next time do better. Mm -hmm. Getting the pressure off their shoulders, telling them that it's not just about uh, winning at this age, right? That's, I think, the first thing I always tell you guys. I don't care if you guys win or lose. All I want to see you guys coming out of that pitch uh, mm -hmm. smiling, mm -hmm. whatever the result. Because mm -hmm. at your age, there's no winner, mm -hmm. there's no loser. Mm -hmm. And if you see most of these elite players we see in uh, the Premier League or all these places, mm -hmm. they are always the late bloomers. Most of them are always disregarded at academy level, they are not really yeah, good, people yeah, don't pay sure. much, much attention to them. Mm -hmm. So uh, there's a, I always classify players like the world class players and these the elite ones. Mm -hmm. Most elite ones are always the people that people didn't even think about in the academy. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yes, and also maybe what are the intricacies of handling young talent? We talked about uh, less pressure on their shoulders and also yes. like 
guiding, uh, being the light for It's the a challenge. Because mm -hmm. at the same time, you'll be telling, you need to push them. Because mm -hmm. we're, we're always told, like, a, a coach is like your parent. Mm -hmm. There's a time a parent will be too hard mm -hmm. or too soft on you, but depending on the situation. Mm -hmm. So this time, you as a coach, you want to push this guy, these kids to win, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. You need, like, now bring out that voice. Mm -hmm. But now that voice again to the kid would be like, oh, coach is shouting at us. Mm -hmm. So I, my style of coaching these kids, mm -hmm. First, before they get into that pitch, they always know where my mind is at. Mm -hmm. I don't care if we lose mm -hmm. or win. Mm -hmm. So you guys just go there and whatever happens, come out smiling. Mm -hmm. So whatever I shout, after I shout at you, I'll just clap at you and, tell you, and like motivate you yeah. and whatever. So it's just move like, on yeah, yeah, move <laughs> on quickly. Like, we just forget it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that you take it as an instruction, not as a, like a demand or a, like an order. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, and Ryan, I know that maybe you, you, you're still in school and, and, and how do you balance now? Uh, honoring the fixtures, the training program, and also making sure that uh, you do well in school? It's very easy. All you have to do is just listen to your teacher in class, and you don't have to revise. Just listen. Uh -huh. Because even if you go outside, there's even a saying that goes, work with no play makes Jack a dull boy. Mm -hmm. So you have to play uh -huh. and also work at the same time. Uh -huh. So it's very easy because if you play, your mind will be refreshed for reading. Uh -huh. Yeah. <laughs> a nice one. And, and your, your, your schooling has been favorable? You've been getting good grades? The coach yes. is here to tell the truth too. Yes, I have. <laughs> uh -huh. Yeah, you can even ask him. Uh -huh. I've gotten good grades. Uh -huh. And that's what you're saying is how it's panned out and it works for you. Yes. How, how that, how, what do your parents say about uh, the, the progress that you're making, balancing school and as well as uh, playing football? They're happy that I can do both of them. Mm -hmm. They have really supported me both academically mm -hmm. and also both in football. Mm -hmm. So I really give a big shout out to my parents. Yeah, you want to mention their names? Uh, my mother is called Vale Odiambo mm -hmm. and my father is called Daniel Chimite. Uh -huh. yes. And they've all been supporting you from day one? Yes. I'm, I'm sure they all come attend your matches? Yeah, uh -huh. they always come. What, what, what's the most beautiful moment you ever gave them when they were around? Mm, scoring a goal. Uh -huh. From what? How magic was the goal? Uh, it was a free kick. Uh -huh. I was in faces my early years. Uh -huh. I scored at around like... Uh, I think it was your third game or something. Yeah, I think my third game. Uh -huh. I scored a free kick and I was very happy. Uh -huh. I ran directly to them and celebrated with them. Uh -huh. yes. The tears ran from their eyes. You forgot the coach. You uh, forgot the coach. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but it's all beautiful, right? <laughs> yes. How, what, how you felt like, you know, telling them... What, 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 words were, what was in your mind when you ran to them? Uh, I was just like, I was so happy. Mm -hmm. I even wanted to celebrate with them. Like, mm -hmm. it mm -hmm. just came. It was a zone. So mm -hmm. I just wanted to go thank mm -hmm. my parents. Mm -hmm. And maybe such moments give you more belief? Yes. Uh -huh. yes. What, what any other moment has given you belief? Mm, I don't have really much. Mm -hmm. But my parents have helped me. That's mm -hmm. one thing for sure. Mm -hmm. And also my coaches. Mm -hmm. The way they have trained me mm -hmm. is good. Mm -hmm. yes. They put you in the right position, coach. Yeah. So I did find the talents at this particular uh, younger age. And also, maybe the Faces Academy now, talk about how, how, where they are. We know that the, you were based in the larger Langata, but now how many players and how many age groups are, uh, are there and how can people maybe uh, trace you? And what are your success stories as well? Yeah, uh, good questions. I'll start with the location. Uh, we are uh, uh, in Nairobi, Langata area, just behind Freedom Ice uh, residence at a place called Swim Africa. Mm -hmm. So uh, that's where we are based now. Mm -hmm. But before we got there, mm -hmm. this academy started in Kibera mm -hmm. at around 2016. Mm -hmm. We just you, we just uh, were playing with bottles or whatever mm -hmm. with the kids. Mm -hmm. And uh, a friend of mine, Svenida, mm -hmm. I think you guys yes, know Benida, him. Yes, Svenida. He's, he's a childhood yeah. friend of mine. Mm -hmm. Just put this idea in me in my head, mm -hmm. and we started this academy at Bomas. Mm -hmm. Then uh, one kid joined. We had like only one kid paying, at, like a paying kid. Mm -hmm. uh, so like, it was only paying one thousand, and you have to sustain over six thousand kids. Mm -hmm. uh, not six thousand, sorry, sixty kids. Mm -hmm. So it was a big, big uh, ask. Mm -hmm. There's a times I felt like giving up, but we kept on. Right mm -hmm. now we have. Uh, We've uh, managed to get in clients mm -hmm. and also some sponsors as well. Mm -hmm. So we have over right now uh, 180 kids mm -hmm. registered. Mm -hmm. um, for our success stories, uh, I think the most, the crown on the jewel is Lona Nyarinda, mm -hmm. the player playing for national team. Yeah, the blonde hair. Yes, 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 coming yes, up. Yeah. Yeah. She is uh, our product. Mm -hmm. We held her under the time she really wanted to give up on football while we were still playing uh, the lower levels. Mm -hmm. 
I had to play the Daddy Figako uh -huh. with a friend of mine called Coach Edwin. Uh -huh. So we took her in uh -huh. and uh, we groomed her uh -huh. and look where she is right now. Yeah. Behind her, we have a pool of uh, very, very good boys. Mm -hmm. We have uh, most uh, actually playing for Karibangi Sharks, the youth team. Mm -hmm. uh, the others were in this defunct now Kasikasi Football Club. Mm -hmm. And uh, the two that were playing for Kasikasi Football mm -hmm. Club, mm -hmm. just remember the names. There's one called Suleiman Shaban mm -hmm. and Steven Zero. Mm -hmm. They are traveling to Portugal sometime soon. Mm -hmm. we just waiting to ratify all the agreements with them mm -hmm. so we have and those are kids that i grew up with mm -hmm. like the ones i started the program mm -hmm. with mm -hmm. and one actually is a, just uh, get gotten a scholarship to al sad mm -hmm. uh, university in qatar mm -hmm. to, uh, to as well play football mm -hmm. she's called uh, churchill wanyoiki mm -hmm. so these players just keep an eye on them mm -hmm. right now. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes, indeed. And maybe to just wind up, Kigan, yeah. uh, this particular tournament, what kind of a chance does it offer for you? What, what you want to be a top scorer? You want to score the most beautiful goals? I, I know that's what every player wants to achieve. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It will be challenging because there are a lot of good players. Mm -hmm. I've ever gone against them. Mm -hmm. They're very good. Mm -hmm. uh, but in the Nairobi International Cup, mm -hmm and to do my best and make sure our team wins. Mm -hmm. I'll do a very big role in it. Mm -hmm. yes. Nice one, you're all charged and ready for the championship. Maybe coach, before we leave, you could just remind us when is this particular championship and are the entries closed? Entries is open. Mm -hmm. uh, actually, yesterday we released a poster encouraging uh, ladies uh, teams to mm -hmm. come on board. Because mm -hmm. mm -hmm. actually, we are struggling to get ladies teams. Mm -hmm. All mm -hmm. those teams I've told you, 380 teams, mm -hmm. 375 all are, are all boys teams. Mm -hmm. We only get five, we only have five uh, ladies teams mm -hmm. in under 15, 17, and uh, 20 mm -hmm. when they have like 32 slots each category. So mm -hmm. you can see how much work we need, uh, mm -hmm. we, are, we have to do. Mm -hmm. um, the tournament will be played in Nairobi mm -hmm. over two venues, mm -hmm. Strathmore University mm -hmm. and uh, Lenana School, mm -hmm. Gong Road. Mm -hmm. uh, we are inviting people to come on board, mm -hmm. uh, whatever capacity you can. Mm -hmm. uh, let's come on board, deliver a very, very big festival in, uh, in Nairobi mm -hmm. and put our city to, uh, to the map. Because even when I go to Arusha, the mm -hmm. teams that play there are 90% Nairobi teams. Yes, now, sure. 90% yeah. uh, Nairobi teams. Why can't you organize a festival of, as big as those yeah. and make it an annual thing uh -huh. here in Nairobi? Yes, indeed. So, yeah, we're inviting people to come on board and see what we're going to deliver. Yeah, and I know that maybe a number of tal uh, scouts will be around. Yeah, the, I didn't want to re uh, release it, but now you made me mention it because the Ajax, they've realized they've not done anything in East and Central Africa. Mm -hmm. They are very big in North America mm -hmm. and uh, South America. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So there are some pictures that were released sometimes back. I don't know who spotted me. We are in talks with them. Mm -hmm. And uh, after they are actually going to grace this tournament. They are going to send maybe two or three representatives. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure if they're scouts, mm -hmm. but people to see maybe how to, can we do something here. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. once we clarify that, mm -hmm. we'll release it to the media. Mm -hmm. But uh, they're coming, mm -hmm. and this could be a very big, big hub for... Dutch connection. Nice one. So yes. Ajax will be attending that particular, yes. of course, and a host of uh, local scouts as well, yes. scouting uh, Kinakigan's talents. For uh, scouts, uh -huh. we have the under 20 and under 17 boys mm -hmm. teams, even under 15 mm -hmm. category. Mm -hmm. I saw direction from the federation that teams should have the academies. Mm -hmm. That's a chance for you to scout yes, and indeed. set up your structures. Yes, indeed. Uh, Kigan, finally, what's your parting shot? What keeps you going? Uh, I want to, people in Nairobi have seen a lot of slums around mm -hmm. and one day I want to make money mm -hmm. and at least give them a good shelter. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes, indeed. And that will, that's your, that's your main struggle yes. as you grow up, right? Yeah. And all the best to Kigen, Napia, Kochakumu, Asante Sana for being on Touchline. And I'm sure that we'll be uh, casting our cameras when that particular tournament begins. You guys will be given the front, the yeah, front row. No doubt, no yeah. doubt. And maybe you should bring the Ajax representatives on Touchline next Saturday as well, as soon as they land in the country. They're landing in the country on uh, August 2nd. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. let's get in touch yeah. from then. Uh -huh. Yeah, I'm not too sure if they'll want to put it publicly because even they've gagged me a bit, but let's see. Yeah, yeah. but it's for the public good, uh, public interest. Thank you so much, Coach Akumu from Faces Academy, Kevin Akumu and Ryan Keegan on the Touchline up next. I'll be engaging the Kenya's homeless team that was the at the inaugural Africa Women's Homeless Cup that ended in Arusha. So keep it touchline. We'll be back shortly. <laughs> Kenya have traveled, all focusing on the Olympic Games, preparing for.